And, and coming back to uh, silver and gold, do you use the gold, gold, silver gold ratio? Gold silver ratio, I think it is. Um, the the gold silver ratio has has been questioned a lot recently. Um, there is 17 more, 17 times more silver in the ground on a geological basis, in terms of geological abundance, than there is gold in the ground. Some people say that, therefore, silver should be one seventeenth of gold's price at any given time. Um, I believe the ratio at this point in time is sitting around 70 to one. Um, it's been as low as 40 to 1, um, and the average over time has been 60 to 1. I think that 60 to 1 average um, is probably a good number to have in your head. Commodities never perform the way they're supposed to. Um, gold, the intrinsic value of gold versus what it's trading at on any given day could be plus or minus 5 or 10 percent. And, and much like that ratio, it could be plus or minus 10% very, very easily. So whether it's 70 to 1, 50 to 1, or 60 to 1, I think it'll trade around that range, but um, there, there's no real telling. Sentiment will guide where it is at any given point in time. And there's a lot of investors out there who, still, who would love to see silver back up at $80 an ounce again. Um, I don't know if it will ever see that sort of um, spike in prices like we had all those years ago. Um, as we discussed earlier, silver demand is 50% industrial, which means it's an, that makes it less precious than gold. Gold is used in jewelry and investment, and, and a small percentage of it's used in industrial demand, but a very small percentage of it, especially relative to the amount that's been mined over time. Um, to be a precious metal um, and to get precious metal prices, you have to be relatively rare, and I don't think silver is anywhere near as rare anymore as, as gold is. Um, and because of that lack of rarity and that lack of truly precious only investment and only investment and only jewelry function, I think the, the 40 to one days or even 20 to one days of, of, of gold to silver in terms of a ratio are, are well behind us and I, I don't think they're coming back anytime soon. Do you think at the moment though silver's undervalued much like gold's undervalued uh, in relative terms? You're not going to like this answer very much. Um, something's worth what you can get in the market for it. I don't necessarily believe in overvalued or undervalued. I think companies can be overvalued or undervalued relative to what their peers are trading at. But fundamentally it's worth what the market's willing to pay for it today. Um, I think that there's a lot of factors that could value gold and silver up in the coming years because I think we're in a bull market and there's a lot of fundamental factors that are going to push gold and silver up in my opinion. But on a real basis, my fund is worth what it's worth today. Gold is worth what it's worth today um, and you can only speculate on what it's going to be worth in the future.